Hey guys, this is I Don't Tell Lies 2797 here, and this is a tutorial for basic muzzle flashes in Windows Movie Maker. Now, um, this is great. Windows Movie Maker is great for doing special effects for beginners, and is what I started on. So, yeah. Um, first thing you want to do is open up your um, software, which I'm using. Windows Movie Maker. Let's get that open. Yeah, Windows Movie Maker. And which is not Windows Live Movie Maker. This will only work in, or what I'm doing is um, for Windows XP or Windows 2.6. Now, those are just some files that I need to delete, so that were old. So, um,. I have a video file right there, so I'm going to import that. Import. Give it a second to import there. The computer runs a little slow when Cam Studio is open. I apologize. It's almost done. There we go. Then um, drag your video onto your timeline. And I'm going to mute mine because the audio is garbage. So. What you want to in no in mine basically what you see is um, me walk in, um, pull my gun or pretend to shoot it, then walk out. Now there's no special effect there yet, but there will be. So the next thing you want to do is um, zoo. Um, first, go find the exact frame that your gun starts to lift up when you're pretending to shoot it. So I'm going to go frame by frame, looking for it. Um, yeah, the frame button is, if you just hover around those buttons down there, one of them will say next frame, and that's the frame button. Then once you find the frame, you want to split it, split it right there. And then after you split it, you want to go ahead one frame, and then split that again. So then you should have one individual frame. Then you're going to zoom in on your timeline all the way by clicking the little telescope or magnifying glass. And then you want to go back one frame and then take a picture of it. Then I'm going to save it on my desktop. And then after you save it, it should import, which is not what you want. Delete it. You don't want to have it imported. It's nothing you need. You only need the file on your desktop. And then you can delete the small frame that you cut out. Then what you want to do is minimize Windows Movie Maker and open up GIMP 2.6. Now if you don't have this, um, there's a link to download it in my channel description or you could just Google GIMP and it's probably the first or second one. Now when you first open it, it may take forever, but it's it'll it takes a while to load the very first time to open it, but that's just normal. Then you want to go onto your desktop and find your video, or no, not your video, your picture, and right click it, then edit with GIMP. Now that should open up um, a window with your picture in it. And then also, what you want to get is um, the muzzle flash image that I provided from Stubbs Effects. Now I use like use the muzzle flash side, and the link to get this. Um, image along with the sound effects is in the description. So then you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the muzzle flash image and then you could exit it if you, now because you're done. Then I want to paste it in on over my picture. Now it's huge. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the resize tool and you want to just resize it, scale it down a lot smaller and get it to put about the size you need it. Then, um, then you, I'm gonna use the rotation tool and rotate it around and get it about the size or about the angle that my gun is pointing. Then, if you use the directional tool, you can move the muzzle flash around to aim it right as the muzzle of your gun. Now, I need to rotate mine a little bit more. See, now that's basically all you, or no, you need to drag it around. And then, if you just um, float off of your image, there's a little anchor, and if you um, click it should anchor down the picture of the muzzle flash to your image so it's all one image now that's basically all you need but if you want to be fancy you could go to um, you could go to the you could edit the brightness make uh, turn the brightness up which makes it a little bit more fancy like you're 
brightening up the whole room. And then you want to save it. So, yeah, once you have it saved, it should just replace your old image. So now I have it on my desktop. Now I'm going to import it into Windows Movie Maker. And then what you want to do is you want to drag the picture into the little slice you made in the timeline. Then you, you make sure your timeline is still zoomed in all the by the way. Then you want to click on the picture and then you should go all the way to the right of the picture. And you should be able to just drag it down to the smallest possible way that you can. Just like the smallest possible. Then, the, then there's that little frame that you have that's the muzzle flash. And then in that gun package, I also provided a um, gunshot effect, which you just put that right at the beginning of the picture. Now, if you notice in the beginning when I played the video, it sounded different than the one that comes in the package because I have a completely different muzzle flash effect that came with my Action Essentials package. So that's why mine's a little different but because I like it better. It sounds more realistic, but you could go online and search for your own muzzle or own gunshot sound effects that are okay so then yeah that's basically it for making the effect and see it's kind of tedious you have to open up two programs and everything but it it works and it's in Windows Movie Maker and it's all free you don't have to buy any fancy program or anything so yeah then you can export or not export you can save your movie file so, yeah, that's it. So, thanks for watching, and before I go, I'd like to say, um, if you'd like to see some of my uh, videos that I've made that I've edited in After Effects, um, go to my other channel, which is The Crazies 120. There should be a link somewhere on the screen. So, yeah, that is basically it. I hope this video helped you guys. And if it did, you could leave a comment. And if you want any more tutorials for Windows Movie Maker, because um, I'm planning on doing lasers, and I might do one other. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but for sure I'll do lasers soon. So, yeah, that's basically it. Please um, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later with a new tutorial for Windows Movie Maker. Bye.